Oh, do. Time for another beer review. For this one, off to London Beer Factory for their Zaya or Zia. Staying with Tesco. So I'll add this to my Tesco playlist. This is a tiramisu pastry stout coming in at 9.2%. So, um, I wasn't a big fan of the, the milk stout that was in Tesco previously by this brewery. Although I do like the fuzzy recall, the IPA from uh, them that they did with the Gamma Collab. So, Morrison's has got a few stouts out now. About time, because they didn't have a lot in terms of craft beers. But, let's see what this one does if it's uh, up there with them. Wow, so we've got one of them kind of big ring poles. It's kind of everywhere. Um, so it's supposed to be so you can able to drink out of the can easier, but they're just an absolute nightmare to pour. That's coming out quite, looks quite silky. That's a good start. Um, so that's jet black. It's got a very tanned head. There's steady carbonation going to the top of it. It's getting us getting a lot of coffee straight off it smells like an espresso um i'm not getting a lot of chocolate i'm not getting it doesn't smell like tiramisu it smells like a coffee stout um because that's all i'm really picking out i'm not picking up the booze just getting real coffee really right let's go in cheers everybody cheers Oh, that's nice. Really thick and creamy. The mouthfeel, it's like velvet. Beautiful body on it. Get, you get brown sugar, like up front, like sweetness off it, going into coffee. So, and then there's a slight biscuit note. Is it tiramisu? Mm, it's. I would have said more of a coffee stout, but it does have, if you dissected a tiramisu, it's kind of there. It's got a slight booziness. It's got the coffee. It's got a slight biscuit. It's got the cream. So it, it, it kind of is there. I think it was better tiramisu stouts, but in terms of stouts, this is really, really good. I like the Hawk's Head tiramisu, the Imperial one that they do, for instance. I would prefer that. It's a lot boozier. Um, but... It's still very, very good. The body is the strong point on this. There's a slight warmth in the aftertaste. I'm getting a little bit of the booziness now, but I wouldn't say it was a massive kick. But the body is brilliant. Um, ranking this in supermarkets, I would say it's very good um i do like it i would rate it i would have it again i recommend it um i think the north star is going to get more hype i think they're on a par if i'm brutally honest but you know beer is subjective and stuff it's just my opinion i um i still think roaster coast is my favorite um but because that's because I haven't, I can't get the Buxton one up here, the Imperial one in Tesco. But um, it's a welcome addition. It's it's good, um, and I, I would definitely have it again. So yeah, if you see it about, give it a try. It's far better than the milk stout that they had in Tesco. They're on different levels. So that is Zia Zaya. So nine point two percent tiramisu pastry stout so thank you for watching and on to the next one cheers